guys how are you welcome back to the channel hope you've been doing well let's have an interesting discussion today but before i start i would like to give a shout out to abby's friend and sister connie if you love my hair you know she came around when, just when i was about to start the video and she you know styled it for me so thank you connie let's talk about the blame game and why champions do not play the blame game right so now just look at your success journey this way you're riding down you know riding along on your success journey things are going well life is beautiful you're winning you know everything you're touching is turning into gold and you just keep going and then suddenly boom you know you you take a turn and luck changes on you and you hit a bomb and all of a sudden things are not looking so good again so what do you do there are usually two reactions there are those who just turn around and blame somebody else they point their finger and say it's this person's fault that things fail is this person's fault that things are not working out it's their fault it's their fault and then there's the other person who reacts by by saying you know what wait a minute what could i have done better what happened how can we fix this how can we problem solve so those are the two reactions the person that will turn around and blame somebody else and just stay on that lane of blaming or the person that will turn around and problem solve and of course you know just with those two options the champion that turns around to problem solve is usually the one in control you know why because if stuff is happening and you turn around and you point a finger and immediately you point a finger you say it's this person's fault it's their fault guess what happens the energy just flows to that person you've handed that person the power you've you've become the victim you know and everything right now your focus has become on that person so it could be you know maybe you lost your job and um and and instead of you know maybe finding ways to move forward you're just stuck on it's your boss's fault it's your colleague this colleague that you did not like this colleague that you had fights with or it could be you failed an exam and you're like well the teacher you know it's the teacher's fault it's my you know the other students fault it's the the system's fault so it's everybody else's fault but yours or it could be anything it could be in business maybe you lost some money and all of a sudden it's like you know it's this this person led me down the wrong path this person this person this person you know but as uh, on it as leaders as leaders it is really important to hold ourselves accountable so when something goes wrong, it's true, I mean, there'll be reasons and those reasons could be due to somebody else's mistake or something somebody else did. But as a leader, you're better off holding yourself accountable first and asking, what can I do better? What could I have done better? Maybe I could have spent more time do, doing my due diligence, you know, looking into this deal before I went into it maybe i should have you know been a better colleague maybe i should have showed shown up you know to work on time maybe i should have been a better team player how can i develop you know maybe i should have worked harder maybe i should have spent more time reading if you were preparing for an exam maybe i should have done more research you know so once you hold yourself accountable and you and and you start finding ways which you could have done better then you've taken back your power. You're in charge of that situation. You, you're, you're, you're able to move through that situation. But if you point a finger and you get on the phone and you're talking about people and, and you're just so mad and angry and upset and hurt, and, and you're pointing a finger at somebody else, you've taken away that power from yourself. So leaders, you know, perform better when they are in in a position of feeling like they can do something 
instead of being in a position where they are helpless and there's nothing they can do so i just wanted to remind you today that please avoid playing the blame game avoid pointing fingers because that's what that's not what leaders do that's not what champions do what leaders do and what champions do is they look at themselves because at the end of the day you can only control you at the end of the day you can only grow yourself and maybe inspire others in the process but you cannot really spend too much time focusing on somebody else and giving away your power that way you know you you become mediocre but to really be a champion a winner a go-getter and somebody that is feeling good about themselves hold yourself accountable and only people that are that have really strong characters and that are really disciplined are able to do that they hold themselves accountable and they find ways to move forward by problem solving. So I hope today's video inspires you to say no to the blame game. And yes, I'm going to hold myself accountable. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time. Remember, I'm your number one fan. I love you. Have a good day. Bye.